Hi guys, here is Dr. Benaduzzi. In this video, we are talking about the ulna and radius bones. And I already gave you a little introduction at the end of the humerus bone that we were talking about. And now we will continue talking more about them. Now look at this. The ulna is the easiest bone for you to identify. It even has the letter U right here. The U for ulna. And obviously we have specific names for everything. The inside of the U for ulna is named trochlear notch. So this is the trochlear notch. And the trochlear notch is the one that articulates with the trochlea of the humerus. The name of this fancy condyle in the humerus right here. And it has to be medial because the ulna bone is always the medial bone in our forearm. Because the radius bone is always lateral because the thumb is the antenna for the radio. And then we can keep going with that and that's why we have the radius head articulating with the capitulum, which is the name of the other fancy condyle in the humerus bone. And I talk more about that in the humerus bone video. So you may go and check it out. Now let's continue with our ulna bone. This is the trochlear notch of the ulna. And this is the olecranon, also called olecranon process. Now guys, the olecranon, is the fancy name for your elbow. This is the olecranon of the ulna. So you can go ahead and touch your olecranon. How wonderful. So now you don't say this is your elbow anymore. You just say olecranon. This is this part right here. And then olecranon. Trochlear notch. And this is the coronoid process. Remember, a process is something that sticks out. So here you have the olecranon process. And here you have the coronoid process. The sequence is O. T C like O T C over the counter medication. So that's how you do to remember this. This is the proximal end of the ulna. And then the ulna is a very special bone because it's one of the few bones in our body that has the head in the distal end. This is the head of the ulna. Now, when we put the bones in our forearm together, look at what happens. This is the head of the ulna bone. And it goes and touches the radius bone like that. And here we have the head of the radius touching the ulna bone right here. So this is what we call the radial notch. It receives the head of the radius in the ulna bone. This is the radial notch of the ulna. And this one is the notch in the radius bone that receives the head of the ulna. So this one is the ulnar notch of the radius. Remember, you can never touch your head on yourself. You can always touch it in another person. So you have the ulna bone touching the head of the ulna in the ulnar notch of the radius, and you have the head of the radius touching the ulna in the radial notch of the ulna bone. That is how this goes. Now, when we look at the ulna bone in the distal end, we see that we have this bump, right? And this is specifically named styloid process of the ulna. And then let's put this together. We see right here, this is in the radius bone. And this is the styloid process of the radius. Guys, these styloid processes are the bumps that we feel right here. So if you go ahead, you can literally feel that the styloid process of the ulna is not as big as the styloid process of the radius. So these are the two bumps right here. Now, if you see right here, these are the two bumps. This is the bump in the medial aspect. This must be the styloid process of the ulna. And this is the bump on the lateral aspect. Remember, the thumb is the antenna for the radio. The radius bone is always lateral. This bump right here is the styloid process of the radius bone. Now, we are just missing this part of the radius well here you have the head of the radius what do you have underneath your head a neck this is the radial neck and then you see this bump which is rough this is a tuberosity this is the radial 
tuberosity. The radial tuberosity is extremely important because this is the point of attachment for the biceps brachii muscle, the muscle that we have in the anterior aspect of our arm. So literally, the biceps brachii goes from the scapula whoop, all the way down to the radius bone, grabbing the radial tuberosity right here. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye!